Okay, I have to admit, I'm a little shocked by this. I asked you on YouTube, I asked you on Twitter, hey, do you have a website? 80% of you do not have websites. 20% of you think you don't need one. What are you guys doing? You need to make a website right now. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Okay, here we go. I've got two goals in this video. First, I'm gonna convince you that you need a website. I'll give you my best reasons. And two, after I've convinced you, I'll show you how to make a website right now for free. I don't want you to have any excuses. You're gonna do it right now. Now, when I say free, I mean free. No gimmicks. The server that we have to host our website on, it's free. The way we build our website, which you could go out and learn HTML, JavaScript, CSS, like that'd be good for you, but you don't have to do that. So the way we're gonna build our website will be through the open source software, WordPress. And it's amazing. It's what I use to build my website. Now, real quick, disclaimer. This right here will be for new beginner websites. Websites that don't receive a lot of traffic because there will be limitations on bandwidth, storage, features. Now, this will probably be the case for most of you, so no big deal, this is perfect. But if people start to like your website, and they probably will, this is where getting a paid option might come into play. And when I say paid, I mean like a couple bucks a month and you'll get features like website backups, more bandwidth, more stores, more reliability. And there are a ton of options out there, but we'll explore one of my favorites, Hostinger. They are the sponsor of this video, so if you wanna check them out, link below, we'll talk more about them later. But first, why do you even need a website? Cause I know you're probably thinking, man, Chuck, I'm a nobody, I don't need one. Like this guy right here, I'm a nobody, I don't need a website. Maybe you're a nobody because you don't have a website. And that's my first reason why you need a website. Reason number one, you wanna stand out. Now I totally understand that not everyone wants to stand out, but there is one situation where you wanna stand out like a glowing beacon, and that's when you're looking for a job. When HR and the hiring manager are looking through hundreds of resumes, what's gonna make you different? What's gonna make you stand out? What's gonna make them pick you? It ain't gonna be your Times New Roman font choice, your clever use of italics. I would wager it's gonna be your website. I've heard it said that websites, blogs, are the new resumes. Now let me tell you something. When I was in charge of hiring network engineers and IT professionals, if I saw that you had a website on your resume, you were special. And what would I do then? I would go look at your website. I spent more time looking at you than the other applicants. And I got to know you better. I got to see your writing style, maybe a few videos, your creativity, your consistency. It adds a new dimension to who you are, to future employers. And speaking of standing out, you're gonna stand out if you have a website, because I already did the poll, right? 80% of you don't have websites. So just right now, if you make a website, you're gonna win, right? <laughs> like, that's obvious. Now, a quick example is from one of my buddies here, SuperTal. He's got a few blogs covering his ethical hacking journey. Shoot, even a video attached, so he's going above and beyond. And then if I check the about me, whew, look at that Tinder photo, love it. <laughs> it's, it's just another dimension of the person you're trying to hire. It makes me want to hire you. Now, I know some of you are thinking, Chuck, man, I've got nothing to say. People aren't gonna listen to me, who cares? That's stupid, people will care. Reason number two, you may not realize it and it may not happen immediately, but your website, your blog, will make a difference in someone's life. You don't have to be a CCIE or an expert hacker or work for Microsoft to have a blog that makes a difference. All you have to do is start right now and document your journey. Maybe you're just starting your A+, your Network+, your CCNA, whatever. Just start talking about what you're learning. Talk about your study habits. Talk about how hard it is. Talk about your wins, your highs, your losses. Doing that will change someone's life. Can I tell you a secret? That's how I got started on YouTube. People like George Almazan and Amy Engineer, their blogs and their YouTube videos inspired the heck out of me. Like they helped me with my cert journey and they inspired me to make this YouTube channel. So real quick, think about all the people that inspire you, the blogs and the videos you watch. You could be that person for someone else. And all it has to be is just one person you help and that's worth it, right? Now let me tell you something. Once you start putting yourself out there and documenting your process and maybe teaching a few things, like maybe you do a blog on ARP and DNS, it could be that simple, it should be that simple. You should do that right now. Once you start doing that and you're giving back to people, man, reason number three, it creates a ton of opportunity. The most exciting part about making your own website is you never know what's going to happen. You don't know who's gonna see it. You don't know who you're gonna help. Because hey, it's just sitting out there, man. While you're sleeping, you could be helping someone. And that, that thought is crazy. But every time you put yourself out there, you make a blog post, you make a video, whatever it is, it's one more chance to meet someone and help someone. And every one of those could lead to an opportunity that might change your life. Dude, I'm a primary example. I could be talking to myself right now. Back when I first started, my stuff was terrible. You can go back and watch my first few videos or first 20. They're, they sucked. <laughs> Time to turn my stuff on. But I kept putting myself out there and now this is what I do for a living. Putting myself out there, documenting my process and just helping people changed my life. It's created a crazy amount of opportunities. I've met people I never thought I'd meet. And honestly, the worst thing that can happen is that nothing happens. And right now that's already happening. So you have no excuse, just do it. <laughs> so are you convinced? Are you? Good. 
Let's make a free website right now. Now again, I'm gonna show you two options. Option one is completely free. It's for new websites, low traffic, most of you, and that's fine. Option number two will be if you want something a bit more professional. You'll get the more premium features and it's about two bucks a month, so it's not crazy. So you can start with free and you'll be fine. And you can move on to paid if you start to grow like crazy, or you can go ahead and start with paid because it's only two bucks a month and not a big deal. Just don't forget to use code network Chuck with hosting your below. You'll get 10% off. Anyways, let's get started right now. Step one, our free server. We're gonna be using 000webhost.com. Now this almost doesn't even need a tutorial. It's pretty freaking easy. Just go to 000webhost.com and then click on get started. And we are gonna go with the free web hosting. Now, look at this for a second. It's a lot for free, but there are limitations on this space and bandwidth and no support in case you break something, cause you might. And you do have to pay for a domain like networkchuck.com or bernardhackwell.com. This is why a lot of people, including myself, will go with a paid option because you get things like unlimited websites, a lot of this space, unlimited bandwidth, support, and you get a free domain thrown in. So if you can afford it, two bucks a month, Go for it, this is what I recommend. Also, it's kind of wicked fast to set up, like we can do it right now while I'm sipping my coffee. Ready, set, go, add to cart. Coupon code, network chuck, 10% off, go. Get my free domain, go. Check out, get started, we'll use WordPress. Select my wicked awesome theme, and we're done. Wicked awesome website right now. Now free, it's not as easy, but hey, it's free. And I know for a lot of you, this is the best place to start. So let's go, let's get this thing going. Go ahead and click free sign up. And sign up for an account. Now, once you create your account, you should be here. Go ahead and click on other. It's the easiest path to getting this set up. Select. Now, because this is free, you're gonna have some ads. No worries, we'll deal with that later if you don't want them. Click on skip. Now, this will be a website for Bernard Hackwell. He doesn't have a website yet. Come on, dude. So I'll name this The Bernard. Click submit. And then one last piece, and that's pretty much it. We're going to install WordPress. The open source website builder, it's amazing. Go ahead and select that. You'll set up your login for WordPress and then you're good to go. Click install. Now seriously, that's all you need. Right now it's installing WordPress on your free hosting service, your free server basically. This over here is kind of your cPanel where you can do administrative things for your website. When this is complete right here, we're gonna log into the WordPress dashboard and that's where we can make our website look pretty. And it's getting pretty close to being done but it's a perfect time for a coffee break. Mm. Networkchuck.coffee, check it out, link below. All right, mine is done. I'm gonna click on go to configuration page and start configuring this sucker, go. And now here we are at a WordPress dashboard and we're gonna log into our website. And that's pretty much it. Like you got your server, your free server, we installed WordPress. Now all you have to do is just make your website look cool, which is not too hard. I mean, check this out. If I go to my website, so if I go to my address bar up here, this is my domain name. Let's go take a look at it real quick. And there it is. I mean, kind of sparse, right? We haven't added anything to it yet, but we can change everything about how this looks. Let's go change our theme. I'll go to appearance, themes. I can scroll down and go to add new theme and shop for themes in the marketplace, which is mostly free. I'll get some popular ones real quick. Let's find a super cool one. Ooh, I like this one, Signify Dark. I'm gonna install that. Now this will not be a full on, hey, how do I use WordPress tutorial? No, there are other videos for that. I just wanna get you started and show you how easy it is to host your own website, which again, was that hard? <laughs> it wasn't too bad, right? Anyways, I'm gonna click on activate to activate my new theme, make it look awesome. If I go over here and refresh my page, it should be there. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's customize that a bit. All right, change the image, change some text. Let's add a few blog posts, because right now it just says, hello world. Ah, let's add a few right now. Here on my dashboard, I'll go to post, add new post. I mean, it's killer easy to blog, I'm telling you. Let's name this one proxy chains. Just start typing. So we added some text, let's add a video block. YouTube, that there it is. Paste that in there, embed it. Oh yeah, and we'll publish that. Publish. And dude, just like that, I got a post on the web. Proxy chains, boom. Crazy simple. Now this is cool, but the only thing I don't like about this, and you probably noticed too, was our domain name. I mean, it's fine. All right, now it's thebernard.000webhostapp.com, but that's not ideal, right? You want your own domain name, which you can do, but that is where the free stops. And don't let anyone tell you differently. If you want your own custom domain, you gotta pay for it. Now, thankfully, it's not crazy expensive. In fact, I'll show you right now. I'll buy a domain right now and connect it to my free website. Super simple, let's do it. So we're gonna leave our WordPress dashboard and go back to our cPanel where we installed WordPress. Here again is where we can administer our website and do things like add a custom domain. So I'll go to tools right here on the left, click on that, and then click on set web address. Now, if you have your own domain already, just add that sucker. 
If you don't, let's go buy one. We'll do that right now. Purchase a new domain. Search for it. What should it be? Hackwell.com. Let's see if they have that. Ooh, hackwell.tech. It's only 99 cents. Let's get that sucker. Okay, I bought a domain, but they did not like hackwell.tech. Can't use the word hack. They didn't like that. So I went with the Bernard. Dot tech. <laughs> there we go. Custom domain. Just like that. Only cost me 99 cents. That's killer. So that's the free website. And even with the domain, it only cost me 99 cents. So let's just round down to free. And real quick, if you're wanting some inspiration on, hey, what should my website be like? How should it look? What should I do to it? What should I add to it? Where should my resume be? I'll show you a few fantastic examples from people that are amazing. I asked a lot of you for your website, so I'll be displaying some of these here in a bit. But real quick, if you wanna go more pro with hosting your, let's check that out real quick. Now back here at the dashboard of my free website, you can see right here at the bottom, I have the option to upgrade. And you'll see that advertising a lot because this website, the 000webhost.com is powered by hosting your, which is pretty cool. So again, if you don't need much more than what you see here, you're probably golden. But for a couple bucks a month, I think it's pretty much worth it to upgrade. So I'll go ahead and say get started down here. Click start now and just scrolls you down to the middle here. And this one right here is my favorite premium shared hosting, $2.19 a month. And you can do a lot like 100 websites if you want 100 websites. You also get a free domain, free SSL, unlimited bandwidth. You'll get a better WordPress experience with acceleration, faster, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, hey, I jacked up my website. Good thing I have weekly backups. Or you might care about them nines, 99.9% .9 uptime. So yeah, good option. And to upgrade, just click on the button and upgrade. Really no tutorial necessary. Just click it and you pay for it and you're good. I mean, there's one thing you wanna make sure you do. Down here for, do you have a coupon? Enter one, it's gonna be Network Chuck. Discount. Now this process is the same whether you're upgrading a free website from their 00webhost.com or if you're just gonna go straight to Hostinger. Just don't forget to put the coupon code in because you get that discount. And once you paid, it'll get your stuff ready and we'll rock here in a second. And once you're signed up with Hostinger, all you gotta do is transfer your site over, it's pretty easy and you're golden. Now one of my favorite features of the paid plan is the fact that you can make up to 100 websites. Now one thing you may not know about me is that I have five kids, or almost five kids. One is currently brewing. Actually, she is done brewing. Here she is right here. Mwah. But yeah, all girls. And I thought, you know what? It's never too soon to start their branding. So they each have their own website now. And of course, I'm going to teach them how to use it, at least the two older ones. These, uh, these kiddos are too young right now. But soon. Now, when I asked you guys, hey, do you have a website? And all of you said no, there were a few that actually had some amazing websites. And I'm going to show you those right now. Just, you know, for some inspiration. Here we go. The first one is a guy named Raphael, or a kid named Raphael, because this guy is 13 years old. Never too young to start this stuff. His website is showing off that he uh, likes to learn Python, JavaScript, CSS. He's got a little questionnaire here telling us why he loves what he does. He's got a blog post, why he did all this. He's got a projects page. I mean, this is cool. Like if I were hiring somebody, I'd be hiring this guy. He's awesome. This is a super fancy website from George. I and mean, this thing is awesome, clean. I can go to about me and whew, look at that. Showing off his key skills. Let's take a look at his projects. Look, look at all of them. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Let's go look at his life. Oh, now that's clean, isn't it? Look at that. Clean resume right here in the webpage. This one I love. It's someone documenting their CCNA study. And I mean, they're talking about Unicast Art Request. A nice blog on that. Look at that. Got packet captures. Ethernet frames, B PDUs, bippy doos Such a cool thing. Let's check out the About Me. Good stuff. Preparing for their CCNA. This is what I want to see. I want to see you do this. I don't care how simple or stupid it might feel just to start talking about simple, simple things. Everyone starts somewhere, man. Everyone. I like this one. Nice and clean, cyber psych related. Look at this thing. So nice. ESXi on Raspberry Pi. Ooh. Let's go to About. Oh man, look at this. This is cool. Get creative, bring out some of your personality. Like, look at this. Who am I? Oh man. Got an MNAP command on why I'm doing this. That's cool. Great job. No blinky blinky. My uh, buddy, AJ Murray. This blog is chock full of really great stuff. I mean, look at this. He was a finalist in the IT Blog Awards this year, 2020. See, opportunity. A lot of eyes on that blog just because he started doing stuff. And he just documents what he does. It's helpful for you, the community, and it shows prospective employers that, hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. And I want you to notice one thing here. Notice it's not like super fancy, like it's nice. Like AJ, don't get me wrong, it's nice. But it's not crazy fancy and it doesn't have to be. 
Let's go to meet the blogger. Oh yeah, there's that Tinder photo. Here's another clean, simple, minimalist blog. I love it, from Daniel Dibb, Lost in Transit. Now you probably already know who he is. If you don't, you should go follow this blog. He covers everything Cisco, automation, Python, and just generally like how to do life, how to study IT. It's good stuff. And he was a Cisco IT Blog Award winner back in 2018, along with myself. Now that's all I can show now. If I keep going, this video will be super, super long, so I'm gonna stop right here. But I'll list some of my favorites in the description below. Anyways guys, that's all I have today. You need a website right now. You can make one for free and it looks fantastic. A full-blown WordPress website on a free web host. Do you want that custom domain name? Yeah, you can get one for like 99 cents, not a big deal. And if you wanna go more pro, which is worth it, in my opinion, it is. A couple bucks a month, you get a lot of features like <laughs> all the websites you could ever want, 100 backups and stuff. So check out Hostinger, the sponsor of this video, link below. Use code network chuck and get 10% off. But yeah, the next time I do my poll, because right now it's sitting at 80% of people don't have a website. That's polling like 43,000 of you. I want to see those numbers change drastically. I want at least half of the ones I'm talking to right now make a website. There's no reason you shouldn't have it. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Make sure we hack the YouTube algorithm today. Like that video. Subscribe, notification bell, all that YouTube-y stuff. And also, once you make your website, I would love to see it. So go ahead and put it in the comments. Because you're going to make one, right? Like, right now. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you here in a bit. Okay, for real. That's all I have. I'll catch you guys next time.